Good evening, I'm Harry Keeling, and on behalf of the Alaskan Aviation Safety Foundation and Alaska Public Media, welcome to Hangar Flying. This evening our guest is Mary O'Connor. Mary is a commissioned officer in the U.S. Public Health Service and a very accomplished CFI. She works with aviation safety for NIOSH, which is the National Institute of Occupational Safety and Health. She's also a very active member of the Board of Directors of the Safety Foundation. And in fact, she's one of those rare individuals who gets everything done and then volunteers for more. Her contributions to the Safety Foundation truly have been incredible. One of the programs Mary recently started is called the Right Stuff Awards. Um, Mary, tell our audience about what, what that's all about. Well, it seems after an accident, people are very inclined to point fingers and place blame when poor decisions are made. And the Safety Foundation wanted to take a, a positive approach and recognize people that had made good decisions and prevented accidents from ever becoming events. So, taking the, taking the positives, and I think the recent seminar we entitled, which we did in November, Doing the Right Things to Stay Alive. That's correct. And we also presented the very first of these Right Stuff Awards. You want to talk about that a little bit? Certainly. Our first recipient of this award was Sam Egley from Egley Air Hall, and he's a helicopter pilot, and he had taken two researchers up to the top of a volcano and was there on a routine monitoring mission, and the weather turned bad, and he summoned the folks back to the helicopter, but before they could leave, the weather was really not good, and he made the decision not to take off. So they ended up spending two days on top of the volcano, and because of the severe icing that covered the helicopter, they had to be rescued. And the event was covered by national media. Uh, the pressure was tremendous on Sam, but he made the right decision, even though it wasn't an easy decision. So he received the Right Stuff Award for his superior decision-making skills and his moral courage. That's great, and what a great person to, to award that to. You could almost say that even the two passengers made some pretty good decisions because they were dressed for it, they had the survival equipment they needed. Absolutely, they were very well prepared, and I think they had the attitude uh, where they didn't uh, put pressure on him to get them home and abided by his decision to stay safe. So talk about the award. Um, is it just for pilots? No. The award is for anyone that is involved in aviation and that is in a capacity to make a good, sound, and safe decision. So we're looking for pilots, obviously, who maybe make decisions to stay on the ground or to turn back in cases of poor weather. We're also looking for nominations for mechanics, um, dispatchers, rampers, flight attendants, anybody that can make a decision to impact the safe outcome of an event. So conceivably you could have a, a mechanic who wouldn't sign off a write-up, even correct. though the pressured by the pilot. You could have a ramper who refuses to overload an airplane even though the pressure's there. So what, how does someone, um, how is someone nominated for this award? Nominations can be uh, sent via email to me. They can call me and just tell me their story if somebody's aware of a situation or if people want to self-nominate, that's fine too. The nomination form is available on the Alaskan Aviation Safety Foundation website. If people are more comfortable filling it out there and sending it in, that works for us too. Can, can you review what that website is? Sure. That website is www.aasfonline.org. And it's on the screen for, for our, our viewers. I will caution you that we've already had one nomination and it's a stellar nomination with a great story. So the competition is looking to be pretty <laughs> tough for this next round of Right Stuff Awards. Well, it's a great idea. And again, what we're trying to do is uh, 
emphasize the positive and recognize people who make the right decisions in the hope that other people will say, maybe that's the way we need to go. Exactly. We would like to recognize individuals and tell their stories so that we can change the culture, particularly for general aviation, um, in a positive way and maybe set new standards for safety by showing people that have made tough, difficult decisions, but they were safe. Great. Mary, thanks for being on the program and thanks for your work for the Foundation. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed t tonight's program. Keep in mind that this program, like the seminars we put on, is uh, the Safety Foundation puts on, is a result of you as members of the Safety Foundation. We're totally dependent on your support. And if you haven't joined for 2014, I would encourage you to go to our website and do that. Also, you can use pick, click, and give to donate uh, to the Safety Foundation part of your PFD. And I would really encourage you to do that so we can keep bringing you the programs that's, that emphasize aviation safety. Till next time, fly safe.